All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, uh, we're gonna be in her house. Uh, Beautiful's gonna be cooking us a crab soup. She's getting all the ingredients all lined out, getting ready. Uh, I'm gonna take you guys down the basin. I'm gonna show you our pantry of all the fish and crabs that we try to catch and process for the entire year. Yeah, 16, yeah, 17. Oh, crap, get in there. <laughs> 18. Ow! <laughs> yeah, right. Get out of there. Get the cool down, you dirty. That's a, isn't that a female, too? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, she's thinking she's safe. But she's not. Oh, look at that one! Pick her up, pick her up. Oh, this. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Here we go. This is our pantry down here. We're in the process of building one upstairs in our kitchen so we can have all the food and stuff right beside our house, you know, right beside the kitchen. Uh, here's just a little bit of grape juice that we have processed. This is all canned elk. Uh, most of our fish we've already brought upstairs. And we have, you know, apples, applesauce, canners. This is our, uh, you know, pressure cooker canners that we do a lot of our fish in. We have a meat grinder, we have food barrels. Uh, these are all tubs that we use when we're processing. You got it. More tubs, the better. I mean, when you have 60 pounds of fish, you're like, wow. You can see there's more tubs. We got our apple press. We got two freezers down here. The one on the right, uh, right there, that's full of meat. This is strictly for the fish and crabs. So you come on up in here. This is all tuna that we caught. So we got fresh tuna. Those are all tuna steaks. Of course, there is chicken from Costco. Oh, boy. Uh, these are blackberries. We tried, uh, you know, August, September, and the first part of October. That's when the blackberries come on, and we pick all the blackberries we can, and we try to preserve it. These cherries are pie cherries off a cherry tree. And you come down in here. Here's our salmon. These are salmon eggs for next year's fishing. So this is all fresh, fresh salmon. And we got smoked salmon. And then all of our white fish is down here. So this is all white fish. This is lingcod, that entire bottom. Drawer. This is all razor clams. So we go out there and we dig razor clams. Uh, this is all crab meat. This is all processed crab. Okay, so when you guys are preserving your crab meat, if you wanna really savor the flavor and make that crab meat last, because it is to put it in a uh, freezer Ziploc bag, Roll it, make sure there's not much air in it, and then vacuum seal it. Makes yummy crab meat, and that crab meat will last for eight months in the freezer. Oh yeah, I forgot to also show you guys. So we have an extra fridge right here. There's nothing really in it. Uh, that is just for when we are processing so much fish. Uh, the refrigerator upstairs isn't big enough to hold all that, and generally it takes you multiple days to uh, process all your fish, either smoking it or brining it or canning it. And so, of course, I showed you all the bins that are in our... Uh, pantry and we just basically take this and this entire refrigerator will be stuffed with fish as we're processing processing all the fish we got grandma and grandpa come up they took care of the boys they were full of silly beans and we tried to start shooting this earlier and we're like we need help so they're taking them out for a walk and now we're going to go ahead and move on inside the house i'll show you what it looks like it's a beautiful day today it was 26 degrees up here this morning and they're saying we're gonna get a bunch of snow, which we hope. All right, let's go inside. We'll see if we're ready to go. All right, we are back. We are in the kitchen. Uh, beautiful, AKA Tawny, will be uh, making a crab corn chowder. Yes. So this week, the weather is projected to be very cold. As he said, it was uh, 26 this morning. It's supposed to be cold for the highs and really cold for the lows and the ponds might freeze over, which will be fine. And what else we like to do is make a soup on a cold day. It might last us a few days and it's warming, it's comforting. And of course we like to use things that we've hunted or caught. In which case we have frozen a whole lot of pre-shelled, pre-cooked crab. We have frozen, we are going to use a pound of crab, fresh crab in our recipe. And I'm just gonna 
put that together and show you something that we like to cook. So here, I'm gonna get some water boiling, some salted water boiling for some potatoes. My particular recipe that I have found online does not have potatoes in it, and I really like the potatoes in with the cream-based soup. Um, I really like that. So I'm going to boil some potatoes separately in the salted water. It tastes extra good when they are salted. And while I'm waiting for those to cook, I'm going to put in a quarter cup of butter into my big soup pot here. And melt that. I should probably turn that on. And then when that melts, I will add a quarter cup of flour and make a bit of a roux here to thicken the soup. All right, while we're warming up things and melting stuff. So here's a crab, you guys. I was talking about this down in the freeze room. So this bag here is a vacuum sealed bag. You can see how the crab's all vacuum sealed. And I was saying, uh, pull this out. Uh, there is the freezer freezer bag that we use too. You know, just a, a glad Ziploc bag. You put all your crab meat in there, roll it, and then you vacuum seal it. If you just try vacuum sealing your crab, Crab is extremely juicy and it will literally pull all the juice out and you'll have just basically crab meat that tastes like crab. <laughs> all right, the butter is melted. So I will be adding a quarter cup of flour to the pot. This will help thicken our chowder here. I'm just gonna kind of mix it all together. And then this will help thicken our soup. We don't want it to brown at all, we just want to Get it all mixed together and heated. And then I'm gonna put in my milk and my half and half. Slowly whisk in two cups of, this is my half and half. Just to kind of just make it so that flour isn't lumpy in there. Okay. And I will grab two cups of milk. So I'll be heating at the same time. Recipe calls for whole milk. I usually have 2% milk. Seems like it tastes just as rich and yummy to me and a little less fattening <laughs> because this is not a very healthy soup, maybe. <laughs> so we will just let that heat a bit and then I will add a can of corn that's drained and some fresh chopped, a cup of green onions. I often don't have green onions on hand don't always use them. We live far enough from town that I'm not gonna make a, a run for it. it, takes too long. So if I don't have green onions on hand, I will use just a regular onion. And uh, that tastes just as good to me. However, the green onions does add a nice pop of color into the white soup. So that is the nice thing about soup, is it's really versatile and forgiving. You can pretty much add whatever you'd like. I like to find a good base recipe, and if there's something that I like to change and add an ingredient that's different, I have my milk base heating, and I dump in the onions with the corn and let that cook for a few minutes till things are soft. It's looking good. It's looking good. We've got the yellow and the green in with the white. It's really pretty. I like to hunt for different recipes so we don't get bored of the same ones with our catches with salmon, white fish crab, deer, elk. If you guys have any fun recipe ideas, we would love your suggestions. And this is a little something that we like to make. It's one of our favorites. are getting soft to my corn. I'm going to now add in a pound of fresh crab meat. It freezes very well. If you have an overabundance, you can't use it quite at once. 
I'm also going to drain my potatoes and add them in because they're soft and ready. carefully drop in those potatoes. And we'll also add in just a few, See, just a half a teaspoon of ground white pepper. Sprinkle that in there. And then I'm also going to take just the same measurement, half a teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning. You can use any, um, seafood seasoning or seasoning salt should all work just about as good and then at the last I'm going to let it make sure it gets real hot and at the last I'm going to add a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce um, or I can use soy sauce it just adds a nice little pop of flavor man does it smell good <laughs> yes it does <laughs> and have a nice warm meal this cold afternoon Right, and last, at the very end here, my soup is heated through and just very slightly bubbling. I'm, I'm going to add in just a tablespoon of this Worcestershire sauce. I normally have soy sauce, but again, I kind of just use what I have on hand. Sometimes I mix it up a little because we live a good half hour from a store, so it's not always convenient to make an hour plus run to the store for something. Kind of get good at improvising. All right, handsome. The soup is ready. What do you think? Would you like to try it? Ah, uh, let's eat. I'm starving. All right. It smells kind of amazing. Yeah, let's try it out. Here's one bowl. Halfway follow. This is to use fresh parsley sprinkled on top, and I do not always have that on hand, but I really like it when I do. So. I mix a nice little extra flavor and color. Which is good without it too. All right, we're oh yeah. All right, so you ready to try? I am. All right, let's All try right. it. A little hot. It's blazing hot. I like how it's super creamy. Mm -hmm. The green vegetables, mm -hmm. I don't know, it just gives it really good color. Mm -hmm. And what's funny is our kids love it, and most kids do not like crab uh, chowder. <laughs> it is super hot, but it is really good. <laughs> and the crabs taste like we literally just caught them from the ocean. Do you think? Mm -hmm, they do. And they it's freeze probably, really well. It's probably been at least three or four months since uh, we've been crabbing. Yeah, that's true. All right, we're just gonna, uh, first of all, thank you guys for joining in. I hope you enjoyed that cooking show. Uh, of course, this is the first time Ty and I have ever done something like this. We hope to uh, get better at this. We're excited. Uh, how was it for you? Uh, I was a nervous wreck. I'm uh, sweaty armpits and I'm not gonna lie, it was really uncomfortable. <laughs> so uh, I'm generally a very cold blooded person and yeah, I'm pretty hot and sweaty right now. <laughs> Her hands are touching my arm right there and they're hot and sweaty. <laughs> Uh, but you know what? This is what it's all about, you guys. Uh, we want to take you along with our journey. Uh, watch us improve. Watch our content get better. Uh, we're hoping to shoot another video here in the next couple of days. And we're going to talk about how Tani and I met. And, you know, I, I say Tani, but around here when we're off camera, it's always beautiful. I mean, at work, you'll hear beautiful. It's beautiful's calling. <laughs> and same. I always call him handsome. So if you hear us... Uh, say that we, you know that's our our nicknames for each other so. yeah beautiful and handsome <laughs> so uh look for that next video thanks again for tuning in and we look forward to opening up our lives to you guys our house and our two boys and uh, hopefully we can paint a really good picture here of who we are what we stand for and how we met and what else yeah we look forward to getting to know you and if there's anything that you would like to know about in our life and our lifestyle you can let us know or or a recipe you'd uh, like to share you know with the things that we cash we're always looking for new recipes we gotta try a new one on camera too <laughs> and my new favorite saying now at work and everywhere i go is please like and subscribe <laughs> we can edit that yeah we can yeah and we cut that out i know <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Got excited. <laughs>